Havana Cigar Club, located in Warwick, Rhode Island, is a great place to enjoy a drink and a cigar. Stogie Geeks listeners can find a $5 off coupon on our website by clicking the HCC logo. Welcome back, everyone, to the Stogie Geek Show. This is our four-year anniversary edition in support of Cigar Rights of America. Visit CigarRights.org, sign up for a membership, or renew your existing membership using the ambassador code 0159, and Will will send you a free cigar. I'm here in studio with Mr. Will Cooper. Greetings, and thank you, everybody, for being a part of this. And again, we're asking for 100% participation today. Yes. And, and if you don't want to sign up or renew, you can always sign up for a lifetime membership. Mr. Todd Lascola is here with us. He is no stranger to the Stogie Geek no. Show. No. Runs the Havana Cigar Club right next door, which we greatly appreciate all of your help and support yep. over the years and various projects that we've worked on in the past and will continue to work on in the future. Yep. So Absolutely. We love love working with you guys. Yeah, yep. it's, it's, always, it's always great. And uh, you guys get a great not, day. It's, but though it's a little busier now between... Both of us, we don't get our weekly drinks in as I much know. anymore. Well, you, cigars. Know, you guys have 3,300 square feet next door. Yes. And you're working on a new building we, in we, Cumberland, Rhode Island. Yep, we just got final approval um, a couple of weeks ago from zoning and, and the final little bit with sewers and things like that um, from planning this week. So we're getting ready to start building that 7,500 square foot building and 3,500 of it will be for That's Havana. Great. And you guys have some great exclusive cigars that I want to mention bef- before we start. Sure. Because we love smoking the exclusives that come into your shop. You've got the blending kit, which we talked about. We actually just did a four-part series that we're going to release that talks about the blending kit. Those are on sale for $50. 401-287-4250. Perfect. Uh, is the phone number. And you can order the blending kit for $50, which Will and I take you through kind of a sampling of that. If you order the kit, you get all the cigars. You get the DVD. You get Manuel's slides. Highly, highly recommend that blending it, kit. Yeah, it's it's an amazing process. I Will mean, and I went through it yesterday, dude. Yeah. Again, we, we didn't uh, smoke the Churchill with all the different wrappers, but we smoked all four Peritos and the Cameroon. And, uh, awesome. But then you guys have the Cien Años Preferito. Which is which is exclusive. It's 2003 Preferito and the number one, yep. which yep. did not sell. Yes. Um, so it's 1996 tobacco. That's awesome. Um, they're in 10-count boxes. Um, they were co-branded with us in La Aurora. And then you um, also have the Coronas. We also have the Coronas. In the Preferito blends. In all the Preferito blends. Is there six? There's six. Yeah. yeah. And um, we have all of the Coronas in the Preferito blends. Um, and actually, um, Manuel was nice enough when we did that blending event to sign all the boxes. Mm-hmm. So if you build a box of 10 of those Preferitos, you can mix and match. You can do whatever you want to do. And what's a box of 10 cost? Box of 10, I you believe. You should know this, Todd. I should. I have cigar trivia for you, and it's harder than the question I'm asking now. I, I so. guarantee you. <laughs> it's, not, it's $99 for the – I had to think for a second. Okay. $99 so it's for the Corona. Yep. $99 um, includes shipping. Okay. Um, and you can pick any 10. We do have to limit the black diamonds to, to two. Yep. Because there's obviously – Not as many. You're not, there's just not as many of those. Okay. Um, but you can mix and match anything you want, and the box will come signed. That's awesome. By Manuel and Noah and dated – from last year. That's cool. And um, we also re- recently bought out um, the remaining of that Pearl Vintage 2003 Ooh. Salamon. Oh, which is... It's which I'm fi- smoking it's right fi- now. It's fight Chuck Norris, Borderline Oasis, in my opinion. And that cigar is... Have you smoked that recently, Will? I act about a year ago. I yeah, you should it. pick some up. Yeah. You guys have the exclusive on that. Yes. Like any remaining we're, we're, ones. We're, yes, people may have them around their shops, but we right. have the last of the... Right. We bought out the last... And what's the, a bundle of, the, of those go for? Um, they're bundles of... Eight. Yep. And um, the bundle of, bundle of eight, um, you know, the cigars are twenty dollars a piece. Mm-hmm. So it's one sixty, but you get twenty percent off a bundle. Yeah. A bundle, so the sixteen dollars a stick. That's great, dude. Um, and actually, if you do, if you order this week from the Stogie Geeks and mention the Stogie Geeks, we'll give you an extra ten percent off that bundle or the Havana cigar box, which is sixteen fifty a stick. So you get 20% off, you get 30% off of that. Gotcha. So you get another 10% off of those um, if you buy the box of 10 of those or the bundle of eight of the Pearl Vintage. Just mention Stogie Geek's fourth anniversary, and you get an extra 10% off besides the 20%. So So you have basically three different um, offerings from La Aurora that are exclusive to your store right now, or you bought out the last of That's the Cien Años Preferido, number one. That's the Pure Vintage 2003. Well, it's the blending kit. 
Um, yeah. And then there's the Corona size peripherals. So it's really four things that four people things. can incorporate. And I tell you what, Stoic Geeks out there, you're going to want to do that because all those things I just mentioned are really, really awesome. You're not going to be disappointed. It's money well spent. They're all fantastic cigars, yep. and we stand behind them Absolutely. 100%. So, um, and, and obviously, we have a, you know, it, they're all La Aurora. We have a very special relationship there, and Manuel's one of our closest friends. And um, just amazing cigars. And, and you know, Salomon's not typically my size, but this cigar is just so exceptional. I still pull it out pretty regularly. Yeah, it's one of those Salomon's. That it's not a lo- like a chore to smoke it. Mm-mm. Yep. Yeah. So, Todd, we've been playing this cigar trivia. It's 20 cigar questions. It's called Stoey Geeks Trivia. It's multiple choice. Um, the, here are the current rankings. Um, Dave Burke is in last place at 45%. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. We get a send, send well, Dave. Well, tell Dave he's okay because I'm probably going to lose at this, so he's in good shape. Um, so we're going to send Dave a tobacconist university book, well, yeah. so he can and study. I, and it. I am a certified tobacconist. And so you should, the second part of this, you do really well with Todd. Um, in um, four third place, third place, thank you, is Glenn Loop from the CRA. Sixty. Yep, at sixty percent. John Carney is in second place at seventy percent, and Will Cooper is in the lead at eighty-five percent. Now, Will did not have an advantage. I developed these questions myself, so that's why I'm not playing because yes. I came up with the questions and the answers. What we really should do is our manager, John. We should have him on as well. Now, yeah, because John w- would rival Will. Yeah. You know, John's our. John's really. I mean, so, I'm a cigar lover with decent knowledge. John's our guy. All right. So, Todd, are you ready to play cigar trivia? Absolutely. When did Connecticut Broadleaf first appear in the cigar market? Multiple choice. Is it A, 1920s, B, 1820s, C, 1950s, and D, the last time that Will had hair? Okay. Now, that puts you almost at the 1920s, right? The last time Will had hair? Yeah, (laughs) probably. Probably. 1920s (laughs) or so. There you go. Um, (laughs) Very perceptive, yes. Let's see. What, what were the four options again, really quick? 1920s, 1820s, 1950s, or the last time we'll had hair? 1920s. Okay. The phrase, close but no cigar, originated from, A, Bill Clinton's presidency, <laughs> B, a cigar being oh, popular so. carnival game prize, C, Hollywood movies, or D, what the FDA has been saying? Well, I'd like to say what the FDA has been saying, it, but yes. we'll go Hollywood movies. Fidel Castro got his own brand in 1966, which was called A, Monte Cristo, B, Castro's Cigars, C, Cohiba, or D, Partagas. Cohiba. No, just a comment. We're not giving the answers until the, end. the, the very end of the show. Right. Oh, okay. Yep. Where which, do, which makes sense. Okay, yes, that's true. Yep. Where does the term stogie come from? A, George Burns invented it. B, Cuba. C, it's Spanish for cigar. Or D, Pennsylvania manufacturers who used Kona Stogas or covered wagons. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get this one wrong, but I love George Burns, so we'll go on George Burns. Okay. A thousand tobacco seeds can fit inside of what? A, a pint glass. B, nestled in my chest hair. C, a <laughs> thimble. Or D, a 55-gallon drum. <laughs> a thimble. Um <laughs> what does Hecho... I'm not familiar enough with your chest here to yeah. make that conclusion, but okay. <laughs> what does Hecho A Mono mean? A, man hands, B, handmade, C, manly man, or D, Hector's man? Handmade. The Cuban embargo, banning the importation of cigars and other goods from Cuba, put what uh, was put into effect in what year? A, 1962, B, 1961... C, 1960, or D, 1992? Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Give give me those years again. Uh, 1962, 1961, 1960, or 1992? 62. The first successful commercial crop in the U.S. was cultivated in 1612 in which U.S. state? A, Connecticut. B, Rhode Island. C, Virginia, or D, Pennsylvania? Virginia. In 1994, the Cuban government created this organization to handle the global distribution and marketing of Cuban cigars. (coughs) Excuse me. A, General Cigar. (laughs) B, Cohiba. C, Habano's SA. 
Or D, Swedish match. <laughs> Bano Sensei. In what year did Davidoff cease production of cigars in Cuba? A, 1961. B, 1966. C, 1989. Or D, 1991. 89. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we go on to tobacco plants. Cigar tobacco plants require how many hours of sunlight per day? A, 4. B, 6. C, 8. Or D, 10. 10. The lowest priming of tobacco from the plant is called what? A, Lajero. B, Viso. C, Seiko. Or D, Velado. Velado. A cured tobacco leaf is brown because what has been replaced by carotene? A, chlorophyll, B, cholesterol, C, caloric acid, or D, pigment? A. What is the country of origin of the Cameroon wrapper? A, Nicaragua, B, Indonesia, C, Cameroon, or D, Ecuador? Well, I've got a question for you there because it's Cameroon, but Cameroon is a Sumatra seed. It is a Sumatra seed, correct? Okay. Yes. So, Cameroon's my answer, unless okay. you try to trick me with Sumatra. I'm not seed. trying to trick you. I promise. Okay. To create a Maduro wrapper, it's, it's pretty easy. <laughs> to create a Maduro wrapper, you need what? A. A Maduro seed plant. B. To use the right fermentation process. C. A Maduro priming. Or D. Black paint. Um, well, there are a few companies who come close to black paint, but we'll go with B. The proper. Uh, Fermentation. What is the topmost priming of a tobacco plant? A. Corona. B. Lajero. C. Viso. Or D. Velado. Do you need to get that? No. You can't. You, I, you can phone a friend, but I don't think you need to for this okay, question. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> no. Um, Lajero is the top priming, priming, but Corona is the top leaves. Gotcha. Top two. This type of plant was developed in the 1930s by Diego Rodriguez, named after his birthplace in Voleta Abue, Ab Abajo region. Abajo. Abajo region. I think I finally said that right. Yep. It was the premier wrapper for Cuban cigars until the 1990s. Is it A, Habano, B, Criollo, C, Corojo, or D, Piloto Cubano? Um, Rio. Criollo. Criollo. B. B. Okay. Primarily yeah. used for this fi for filler, this Dominican plant derives part of its name from the Spanish word for aroma. Is it A, Piloto Cubano, B, Olor Dominicano, C, San Vicente, or D, Chibao Valley? Pure guess. A. Picked or primed tobacco leaves are hung in barns, also known as casas de tabac. For approximately how many days before moving to the next stage? Is it A, 30 days, B, 7 days, C, 50 days, or D, 60 days? <coughs> 60. In the first phase of fermentation, the leaves are bunched together in gavilas, or bunches of five or more leaves, then laid in short piles around one to three feet tall, which are called A, burrows, B, pilones. Pilones. Just make it easy. Gotcha. All right, let's calculate Todd's score. He is somewhere in the mix. At 60%, so you're tied with Glenn Loop. Ooh. Okay, hey, hey, put it this way. Too, I'm just not glad I'm out of the basement. No, so. <laughs> That's Sorry. right. Dave Burke still is uh, leading up the back. He's probably asleep by now. but uh, <laughs> He probably is asleep yeah. by now. He's not sticking around for the answers. <laughs> He's not the answers are like at 4 or 5 in the morning for him. All righty. Well, that was cigar trivia. That was fun. What else do we want to talk about, Will? Well, I, I got to drink and, and smoke some more. Yeah. I'll, it, give, I'll give you a real uh, – so, Todd, just post – we haven't really – I haven't seen you since IPCPR. What have been some of the standout cigars you've had post-IPCPR? Um, it's, it's interesting because the most popular is definitely the Lenox from LFD. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. We were um, just talking about how great that cigar and, is. And um, way out of my personal flavor profile – but I think that is the most difficult cigar to get. I mean, we just got our show order a week and a half ago. So, so did a lot of people I know, yeah. 
It's just they and and they're saying three, four, five months from there. Wow. Um, and I think that's clearly um, way up there, and 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 clearly just as much, and probably a, a, a cigar that's I would rate a little bit higher is um, was um, shoot uh, the gentleman from Drew Estate. Uh, Nick Melillo. Nick Melillo. El Way Wednesday. Or El, wise yeah, I was, no, I was letting you say it. Yes. <laughs> there was no shot of me pronouncing it. It's only because we interviewed Nick and we had to say it a bunch of times on the well, show. And, and then and I would forget and then yeah, Will would remind me how to say it. And that is, if you haven't met our manager, John, uh, John's a rather subdued guy. Um, my business partner, um, Leon, actually said, he goes, I've never seen John excited except when he saw that that had shipped. And that is as popular as the Lenox and, and definitely one of the most anticipated cigars out there. I think it's a very interesting name, and I was a little concerned for Nick, but Nick's got a lot of things going for him. Number one, first and foremost, the blend is absolutely fantastic. Oh, it is. I, the Churchill in, in that blend, to me, is hands down a box-worthy cigar, in my opinion. And fortunately for me, that makes it a little bit lighter, <laughs> and yeah. that's perfect. Yeah, because the Corona is very amped up and strength. Yes. I also That's enjoy John's the Corona. Favorite. Yeah, yeah. Um, the name is difficult to pronounce. However, once you get it, it sticks with you, oh. Oh, and, 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 and it differentiates itself in the market. And, so. and, to be, and to be honest with you, most people just ask for Nick's cigar. Ah. <laughs> and so that's the other thing that I love about it is that people can sell it because, and I mean, I can't blame people, right? You identify with Liga Pravada. You know Liga Pravada from Drew right. Estate. And, you know, Brenda will be like, well, that's the, the guy that blended Liga Pravada. He went off on his own and blended this. And they're like, yeah, I'll try one. Yeah, yeah. The big problem is, though, it's not Liga Pravada. Yeah. The, the true Liga smoker smoke and go, this doesn't work. I'm like, it's not Liga. It's not Liga. Get Liga out of I your head, head. Smoke it for the blend that it is. It is. And it's, a, it's a much fuller Awesome blend. cigar. It's, yep. a, it's a phenomenal. And I'm not just saying that because Nick is a great friend of the show. Believe Nick's me. A, Nick's, Nick's a really nice guy. Right. I met him and, at the and show. And he's a nice guy on top of it, right? So, I, you know, it's hard for me to be unbiased in my opinion, but uh, I stand it behind is. my rating of a box where they cigar and for John, that charge. And John's yeah. pretty, you know, John definitely has a fuller palate, but John's yeah. very particular about cigars, and that was his most anticipated, and that doesn't always play out, and it played out. He loves that cigar. Mm -hmm. Um and and it's a very popular cigar. That was actually probably the fastest reorder we've yeah. done in two years. Oh, yeah. That's great. No, that's great. Um, what else is coming to you, Humidor recently? Have you got the Tatuaje Monster Series? The monster. Um, the monsters came in rather mm -hmm. late this year. They mm -hmm. were a little later this year. Everyone was saying that. Yep. They. I mean, it was only in the last couple of weeks that they came in. Um, oh, I tell you about the. Couple of Connecticut's, the New World Connecticut and the Corona size that you carry is awesome. Yes. The um, Esteban Herrera's two hundred one Connecticut. Two eleven. Yes. Two eleven. Two eleven. Thank you, Will. Great cigar. Uh, what What is that like? Six fifty. It's an inexpensive stick. The two. It, it, and great it's cigar. Great cigar. Um, obviously, um, and I know Paul. For you, it doesn't work. For me, actually, I. Uh, it's It's funny because I love the cigar. Is the Padron Connecticut. And I know it doesn't yeah, work for you. And now, I've seen some more favorable reviews. And what I said when I smoked that was, I'm like, this cigar just isn't ready. Like, this needs time. And I've been waiting to review that cigar again. I yeah, actually, me too. I, I went through a waiting period. It was a little better. I'm still going to let them rest a little and more. And I think you should. But, Will, did you smoke the little Knox at the show? Yeah. It was unsmokable. I couldn't draw a fair comparison. Now, it wasn't that it was heavy. Um, but there was a lot of spice, that young spice you were getting young off that. Young spice and, yeah. and even even ammonia. See, I don't get any of that when I smoked. Well, no, you don't anymore. Here. I smoked oh. one last night. It's still too full for me, but it smoked great. It just, people have a tendency to rush things for the show because they try to get it out mm -hmm. there. Well, I mean, even, and I'll say it, even, the, and I didn't smoke the cigar at the show, but a lot of people were saying Nick's cigar was, was not ready at the show. Yeah, no, Nick's wasn't, and... Um, I mean, there were even cigars that didn't have samples because they were because they were so not ready. Yep. Oh, I want to go back to La Aurora for a moment. Yes. And talk about the Cameroon Lancero. Oh, that's we, right. We in this you'd still honor this special. I know you would be yes. the, the person that you are, right? Um, we created an Oasis five pack. Yep. 
And I don't know if I can remember exactly what's in it. Let's see. It was a Padron 45th Maduro. Padron 45th Natural. Yeah. It was a Laura Cameroon Lancero. What else was in there? There was two more sticks in there that were Oasis rated. And you got that five pack, and I think you gave people a discount on it. A huge discount. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what it was offhand because I can't remember the cigars. We'll go look it, it up and we'll repost we'll it. Yeah, but absolutely. the problem that we ran into was we ran that special and we found, oh, my God, there's not that many Cameroon Lanceros Sarah. left. And they, and they Todd dis- calls up La Aurora and they're like, yeah, we're, we're discontinuing that size. And we went in this frantic chase. Nobody else has them. Nobody else has them. And, and but you worked your relationship with La Aurora to get some more. Yeah, and we, and we have Cameroon Lanceros. Um, not, not, not in the boxes. Not they're in bu- not holes. They, they, you know, we've got them in bundles, but um, we have how many bundles did you get in? Six or something. Six or seven yeah. bundles, um, but I've got another ten coming. Oh, oh wow. interesting! And those might be the last. That they could be the last on the planet. Lance, yeah. On the planet, um, unless and actually, people have them in their personal collections, these cigars don't exist anymore. I, I have a box of fifty sitting at home. Yeah, Just I so bought you know. a bundle. Well, remember, I brought in some so we could yes, do those so packs. so we could do those packs. I went, oh, my, and, and, and Manuel, <laughs> Manuel I, in fact, there's a funny story. I was at a show, and in fact, you know what? I apologize if you're watching the show. There's a shop out in St. Louis. I, he, they wanted to bring it in. I go, Manuel, go to Manuel, and Manuel goes, no, we don't make them anymore. Only you can get them. <laughs> he goes, only a few select you know, people can get those now. And I told him I'd send them a few cigars so, so the staff could smoke it. Oh, wow. So. That's awesome. How, how much are those Cameroon Lanceros, Todd? Cameroon Lanceros um, retail are, are ten fifty a stick. That's actually not bad. It's not bad. Um, so um, obviously you've got your pack there, but the, the Cameroon Lanceros, the bundles are twenty five. You know, you're looking at two hundred and sixty fifty. Um, but again. We're doing the same thing during the Stogie Geeks um, anniversary. Yep. You'll get the 20% and you'll get an extra 10 with Stogie Geeks. So you get 30% off of that to grab the Cameroon Lance Arrows I, by the I bundle. can't find ex- what was in there. Tatuaje Corona Black Corona Thank Gorda. You. Tatuaje Black Corona Gorda 2013. Yes. Thank you, Nick. How can we forget that one? Okay, so it was a 45th natural, 45th Maduro, and 44th natural Tatawahe Black, Cor- Black Corona Gorda jar release from 2013 and the La Aurora Cameroon. And if you order those five cigars, you get 30% off, 30% the, re- off those. the retail you price. You will not get those cigars anywhere at a better price. No. no. And I those are all Oasis-rated cigars from the Stoey yep. Geeks, all available from Havana Cigar Club. I thought that was a fantastic deal. Yep. It's, it's, and a lot of our Stoey Geeks listeners haven't taken advantage of it, and you yep. need to. Yeah, that's, yep. that's, I mean, in all honesty, I mean... The, those are those are rare enough cigars to get mm-hmm. your hands on across the board. You know, you can't walk into too many shops and find every Padron anniversary in the forty four. Never mind at a line. discount. Yep. Never mind at a discount. And again, that's for Stoey Geeks. That's yeah. You know, if you just walked in off the street, even here, you're not gonna get that. That's yep. just right. strictly because it's your well, thank you for that. You can call up the Havana Cigar Club at four oh one two eight seven forty two fifty and take advantage of that deal, and I, I strongly recommend that you do. If you want to smoke some, uh, basically what it came down is we were talking about our ratings and the cigars that we've rated, and I was like, I really want our listeners to smoke some of these Oasis-rated cigars, so we wanted to, to make sure people had an opportunity to yep. do that. So. And, it, and it's, it, it, it is, and, and I mean, that's, that's an exceptional pack right there. Yeah. I mean, this, <laughs> you can't how do you go, go wrong, wrong there? Yeah, <laughs> you could make a day out of that. And, and the Cameroon Lancero is is. One of my f- personal favorite cigars. Me too. Me and, too. Um, and and we've sold a lot of them at, at next door, and it's one of those cigars that those of us have been smoking for a long time, enjoy, and I can put that in the hand of a new smoker. Yes, because it's not very strong at all. A lot of the women who come in mm-hmm. who are, you know, maybe are cigarette smokers or and they want to try a cigar. I never went to the flavored. Mm-hmm. I always went to the Cameroon Lancero yeah. until we got so limited on it that we couldn't because I don't want to get them. Right, right. You know, yeah, that, That's left for the aficionados. It's a Stogie, it's a Stogie <laughs> Geek cigar, true, yeah. true. Yeah. The only, only because you don't want to get them you know, in love with it and yeah. not be able to give it to them. And there's nothing like it. So it's not like you could – it's one of those cigars that you can't say, oh, try this. This is going to be close. There is nothing close to that Lancero. Right. 
Cool. Well, Todd, thank you very much. Of course, it's thank a you, fantastic As relationship always. we have yep. uh, with Nextdoor. Uh, we help each other it. in a, a lot of different... We do so much together. It's, we, we it's do. really we do great. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, but it is great. I mean, we share space, you know. Um, we share space. In, we hang out. Uh, we we're, we're in the, we yeah, we're, do projects together. Yeah, we, we do we, the blending Paul, seminar together. Paul, Paul's lucky; he's got a good landlord. So that's right. Yeah, we, yeah. We, 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 tra- landlord. We, yeah. we treat yeah. we treat them. You know, they they're part of the cigar club from the standpoint of smoking regulation. Yep. Um, as far as we're concerned, if Todd has any technical problems with the Wi-Fi, we're always oh here to help God. out. Oh my God! Don't have to course by. Uh, Changes right. you make, but okay. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> sometimes you break it, you know. No, but, but thank God Paul's here, because because I'm not always here. Yeah. And you know, instead of the panicked phone call because something's wrong that comes to me. Yeah. Brendan just, just next comes door next door. door. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, Paul, help me. And, and to to be fair, sometimes it's me, or sometimes it's our production staff. We're all uh, extremely computer Everybody. savvy as well. No, so. this is this is from that standpoint. This this staff has made my life a heck of a lot easier. Yeah. It's nice to please come over. Nice to have a nerd in your life to take care of your computer yep. problems. Yeah. So. And, and I mean, I'm an engineer by academia. From, mm-hmm. You know, but by no means can I do anything that you guys can do. And you understand the engineering and nerd culture too, which is great. Yes, yeah. I, I do. I can appreciate the nerd culture. I, re- I really can. I went yep. to college with all of them. Yes. Um, I have plenty of nerd traits. Um, <laughs> You know, not necessarily as obvious as as some other people, but Paul and I have joked about that. We, right. we, we both both can yeah can adapt to other environments. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for your support. Thanks, and with gentlemen. that, uh, and your tobacco is university. Uh, in fact, I applied for my. Did you see that? Yes, you I, already. I, appro- I, I think I you got, approved it like moments after I submitted it. Yeah. Well, yeah, because and they sent me the email, so I approved mm-hmm. it through them, and then like within a few minutes, you had sent me the email, but I had already. You had already approved it. I had already right? approved it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's like a, it's a hundred bucks. You can submit for your uh, consumer. Consumer. Right. Certification, which is the same certification. It's just you know, for the consumer. For the yeah. consumer, rather than yeah. for the shop. Yep. So and um and and. It's a great learning experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, what you learn knowledge-wise about the actual tobacco, it's really more of an extensive um, class on tobacco history and where tobacco comes from, how it's grown, mm-hmm. what you know, the difference between Lajero and, and and some of those questions. You know, yeah, some of those questions I got from know, Tobacco and tobacco University. University yeah. You know, Maduro, and and we've talked about that before. You know, yep. the misconceptions of Maduro. Is is probably, I mean. Oh yeah, it's big. Oh It's yeah. big. Everything oh, yeah. from the type of leave to strength, and and all those things are all in, inside that tobacco university. Yep. And they really do a great job for people who are really into cigars to really understand everything that's underlying in the mm-hmm. cigar. Absolutely. And, and and the history of it. Very cool. Todd, thank you very much for coming down. Thanks, Sean. Uh, and as always, congratulations on thank four you. years. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, this is a little early for my first cocktail, but yeah. that worked. <laughs> That's right. We're, we're, good. Uh, we're influencing correctly today. Um, so stay tuned. We've got more coming up on the Stoey Geeks for you anniversary show. Um, so we'll be right back. Yep. Look back and watch me smack down.